Why, hello everyone and welcome to Playframe and once again to Banjo-Kazooie. I am joined once again by the great Dan Jones and I'm very excited. Dan, how are you? I am great. I'm also very excited about this. <laughs> <laughs> We're both very excited and I'll tell you why. We, we've played Banjo-Kazooie on this channel before, just sort of a vanilla fun playthrough. It's, it's a, one of our favorite games for both of us. Um, but this time we're going to do something a little different. This time we are going to do a bingo randomizer race. And I imagine a fair number of you may not know exactly what that is. Dan, would you like to explain what is a bingo randomizer race? All right. So uh, bingo, like you might know, you know, it's the grid of 25. Um, but related to the game, uh, there's this site called Bingo Sync, and it has a bunch of video games built into it. And uh, one of the ones that I've I've run a bunch is uh, Mario Odyssey. So like when you when you click uh, randomize, it'll it'll give you 25 random objectives, and they range from you know difficulty and stuff. It, it might be like get this one simple moon, or find uh, you know two life up hearts, or find five moons that you open from treasure chest or you know like stuff like that situational things that you can kind of keep track of in your head and and plan and route for accordingly um and then just like bingo um you know the first one to get five in a row wins um and there's there's different ways you can play there's lockout and there's normal bingo we can get into that later but uh, the important thing was when I used to use this site, uh, I've, I've played it like for Dark Souls and, and Mario Odyssey, like I said, and I noticed there was a Banjo-Tooie category and not a Banjo-Kazooie category, so I couldn't let that stand. <laughs> so I had to make my own uh, list of Banjo-Kazooie objectives. So we, we, I made a list of, I think it was 85 uh, random objectives in Banjo-Kazooie, and when we hit randomize, it will get this little like board of 25 goals and it'll spit them out in whatever order. And we have to kind of like figure out the fastest way to get either bingo or just more objectives than the other player. Indeed, yes. But you couldn't just stop there, though, because like, I, I can see why Banjo Tui has an entry on that site and not Kazooie. Because Tui, like, neither of us are huge fans of Tui, but I can understand it being better for this kind of race in that it is a bit more open in the pathing you can take through the game. You got more flexibility in which levels you go to when, which lends itself to these kinds of races better, because if you make a bingo race out of a game that's extremely linear, where you need to kind of achieve half of the objectives to just progress in the game, like to, in this case, unlock note doors and do stuff like that, then that kind of makes for less interesting races because it really limits the options of paths that people can choose. Uh, so you fixed that. I, I did, I did uh, dip my toes into ROM hack editing. Um, I came across this <laughs> software called Banjo's Backpack uh, like a year or so ago. Um, it's, an, it's an older piece of uh, software, so like it's not as supported, but it does let you do some rudimentary editing of uh, uh, Banjo-Kazooie. Um, so I, I kind of streamlined it to make it more friendly for these kind of quick bingo matches. So uh, all the all the jiggy pedestals that you need to go find to open up levels, all the levels already start open, so you don't need to go worry about any of those. Um, all the note doors are for free. You just need to walk up to them and like it'll play the little animation, but you don't actually need any notes for it. Um, and as well as like uh, Grunty's Lair has a, a few things that I wanted you to be able to go right at the start and go to Click Clock Wood if you wanted to. Um, but there's a few instances where you would need like uh, other abilities like the spring pad jump you would need in like the one room by Bubble Gloop. So I just put a staircase in like I, I put in a few platforms and stuff just so you could reach anywhere you want right from the get go. Uh, it might be a little difficult uh, or, or time consuming just getting there, but you can do it with no abilities. Um, and the one thing that I couldn't not so much couldn't, but didn't feel like getting around is in that first room. You need talent trot. Uh, so instead of going all the way into Mumbles Mountain to get it, I just put it right in front of your path. So we basically, as soon as we start the game, we can get talent trot, which is, I think, how a, a quick bingo match should go if you get the fastest ability like right at the get go. Absolutely, yeah. So that, that's a smart play because like making that just an automatic get for everyone in a race setting, like that move is going to be mandatory. And if everyone has to go into Mumbo's Mountain to unlock that move first, 
uh, like then that's just a more boring start to the race. Everyone's going to the same place instead of choosing different routes. So great change. Yeah, but but yeah, there's just a bunch of little things like that, and uh, I. It, I love I love banjo, so it was like, hey, it was another way to play the game. So, <laughs> and uh, you helped me do a lot of uh, troubleshooting on this in the past like few days because some of the game gets a little buggy, uh, like some of the the, the <laughs> flags and scripts and uh, triggers and stuff that should happen either aren't happening or are messed up because maybe like I, I removed some cutscenes and stuff. I'm not really sure why, but. Uh, when we're playing, you might see like a jiggy just floating in a space that shouldn't be there or like you should spawn it by killing enemies or jumping through rings or something like that. We we put those jiggies in there one as a like in case things break, just grab it or just grab it because uh, we couldn't figure out why it was breaking. Yeah, you may see either one of us go and achieve a goal and then a jiggy doesn't show up for some reason. If that happens, we will just count the jiggy as gotten and move on. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah. Even so, this is so extremely cool to me that you like went so far as diving into ROM hacking yourself to create the thing you wanted to see. Yeah, it was a fun little experiment to do. Uh, on, a, on a totally unrelated note, I'm using these new headphones right now, and every time I smile, the left one falls out. <laughs> so, <laughs> new, I got a new handicap for the banjo, the bingo run we're going to do. Yeah, we've had to set up our recording setup a little bit differently because uh, we've never, Dan and I, recorded a series where we needed footage from both of us before. So this yeah. took a bit of figuring out. <laughs> new, 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 new tech. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm very excited. This is going to be a great time. Then with that, uh, let's go ahead and start getting ourselves... Uh, in game here. I I'm choosing game three, playing Game Boy by the Fire, which is the correct choice. Oh, you have to. You have to. Uh, spoiler, uh, Dan's going to probably smoke me at this. <laughs> no, 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 no. See, you see, we're, we're, we're both banjo masters, according to the old text. Sure, sure. Yeah. Just some of us are more banjo masters than, <laughs> than others, I feel like, a little bit. The race will formally start when we uh, talk to bottles and bottles basically says go. Before we go do that, though, uh, we're just going to play in the yard for a little bit while I explain one of the specific rules to this uh, bingo run that we're going to be doing. Um, so Dan mentioned earlier that there are different kind of like modes that's sort of standard or lockout. We are going to be doing lockout. In standard mode, uh, anybody can go for any tile and as many people who go for that tile can all get it. Um, in lockout mode, if one of us gets a bingo tile, the other person cannot. They are prevented from doing that, which means that we can block each other from completing a row of five uh, if we are fast enough. What that probably ultimately means is that, one, this is going to be just more competitive and fun as we go, but it'll probably also be a longer race, uh, and it's very likely to result in just being a case of whoever gets the most the first to 13 squares, basically. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, when you do lockout, there's there's the very slim chance that someone can get a bingo, but because unlike normal bingo uh, in lockout, you can play defense, which is really fun. So yep, yep, yep. Usually, just expect to get thirteen like first, <laughs> probably. Yep. <laughs> Unless you just catch someone sleeping. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we're, here's how we're gonna start this off. Here, we're going to. Uh, bring up the board here. N neither Dan or I has been able to see what this particular card has. We don't know what the goals are or where they're at. Before the formal race starts, we are going to mute each other so we can't hear each other, and we're going to spend a few minutes perusing this board and looking at what we've got here, what our options are, and forming an early strategy, just independently. So, uh, Carrie, if you will bring up the board, when I say go, Reveal, and Dan and I will mute, and we will begin our plans. Three, two, one, and reveal. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Just perusing through the list real fast. Uh, Jinjo's in Mad Monster Mansion could be a little tricky. Let's look for the easy ones first. Five Jiggies in uh, Bubble Gloop Swamps, not terrible. Uh, all ten Jiggies in two levels, also slow but doable. Uh, get through the pyramid maze in Gobi Valley. Look, that's scary, but potentially fast. It's just a single jiggy. Get 15 Mumbo tokens is not fast. Uh, get all the Jinjos in Mumbo's Mountain. That's very easy. Uh, Tip Top Choir is a little slow. Talk to Printeld in three locations. Printeld is everywhere. Yes. Unlock Winter and Click Lock Wood. Very slow. 
uh, break five unique honeycomb hives fast and easy. 15 notes in freeze easy peak, probably not the fastest. <laughs> Compliment Banjo Tui. I am, um, I am not going to go for this one. I'm going to force Dan to sit up on that throne. That's my strategy. Uh, five jiggies in uh, Mad Monster Mansion. That's a little slow, but maybe kind of doable. 50 notes in uh, Mumbo Mountain. Very doable. I like that one. Find a Cheeto once is not... It's not fast, but it's not terrible. There's a location behind Bubble Gloop. Oh, that's kind of slow. Uh, 50 notes in Rusty Bucket Bay. Oof, no. Uh, Mumbo transform into a walrus. Maybe. Uh, 50 notes in Clanker's Caverns, a little slow. Find five, uh, no, eight banjo one-ups, rough. Uh, Mumbo transform into a pumpkin. It's okay. Jinjos in Gobi Valley, very slow. Find four banjo one-ups, doable. Uh, cross blades, the blades in Clanker's Blowhole, that's doable as well, that's not so bad. Uh, 500 notes in total is a little rough, and find the golden treasure chest in uh, Treasure Trove Cove. Um, it's a little slow too. Okay, looking at this board here, there's not a immediately obvious easy row. I like row four, but that involves 50 notes in Rusty Bucket Bay and 50 notes in Clanker's Cavern, which it's not the worst, but man, Rusty Bucket Bay is so big and slow and it's easy to die, which loses you all your notes. Um, uh, let's see, column four, not so bad. Get through the Pyramid Maze. Unlock Winter and Click Lock Woods, bad though. And I'm not going to compliment Banjo Tui, so that's right out. Um, five Jiggies in. Okay, let's see. Column two, also not terrible. It involves the Tip Top Choir and 500 notes, which is rough, but. Oh, that's a real rough. 500 notes. Um, row two's also kind of. kind of rough. It also involves the Tip Top Choir and Winter. So here's my overall strategy. Row two is going to be probably what I am prioritizing. However, I know from practice that Dan and I do not have perfect memory of this game. Multiple times he and I ran into a thing where we were like, oh shoot, I forgot what you need to do this thing. I'm going to count on that continuing to happen. So I'm going to actually be smart about this. I am going to go to the first several levels and I'm going to get all the moves so that I do not end up in a situation where I have to backtrack when I did not plan to. I don't think I'm going to need a whole lot, but Tip Top Choir, I'm going to at least need boots, but that's right there at the entrance to Bubble Gloop Swamp. I'm not going to need a whole lot for these objectives, but I expect to get blocked out as well. So, uh, that's what I'm thinking. Um, we'll see what happens, huh? So I think, I think what the play we might do here is, um, go for these diagonals. So, what do we got? Jinjos and Mad Monster Mansion. Five Jiggies in Mad Monster Mansion. Tipped up choir, bubble gloop. Um, so we got a lot of Mad Monster Mansion. 50 notes in Freeze Easy. Five unique honeycombs. That's something we needed to start going for quickly. Um, I can also get the 15 tokens pretty fast. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think. Is there is there any reason to go into... Mama's Mountain. Jinjo's in Mama's Mountain is not bad. I, it, it could be just a good one to quickly grab. Uh, 50 Notes in Mumbo is also not a bad one to grab. So there's this Jiggy in Clanker's Clavern going in the blowhole. That's a nice, quick, easy one to get. The problem is I don't really want to go into Clanker's Cavern. Um, there's the 50 Notes and that right there. Um... Ooh, you know, that's actually not bad, because that's that and with the 10 Jiggies. You could just beeline it for the 10 Jiggies in Clanker's Cavern, and then Mumbo. That would be a pretty nasty one to get. The thing is, the 5 Jiggies in Mad Monster Mansion, though, if I go for that first, I can block if Dan goes for Column 3. So that might be something I want to do. Um, So I think as it stands, what I want to do is maybe get as many abilities as I can, get this unique honeycomb kill as fast as I can, find some quick mumbo tokens. Also, uh, we, we didn't say it together, but the uh, five mumbo tokens is all you need for any transformation. So you technically only need 25 to do all the transformations in the game. Hmm. 
This is gonna be an interesting one. None of, none of them look like super quick, um, but none of them also look awful. Like, uh, I think the 10 Jiggies in two levels is probably like the most time consuming one. Or actually the Winter and Click Lock Wood is probably the most time consuming. Or the actually the 500 notes. 500 notes in the, the Winter are probably the most time consuming, so you don't wanna go for those. So I think anything else I can play defense in. The Jiggies in Mad Monster is gonna be huge that I wanna get. I'm afraid though, if I do Mad Monster, Dan might go for Tip Top and Bubble Gloop. That could be bad. That's a pretty quick one to get in Bubble Gloop too, so I, I well, maybe I do that. Ooh. I don't know, I don't know. This is gonna be interesting. I think we, I think we start, we'll grab the Gingos and Mumbo's Mound and the 50 notes, and then I'll dip. I, I am very happy compliment Banjo 2 we came up out of the 85 random objectives that could be in here. What could we possibly say that hasn't already been said about Banjo 2 That it was good? <laughs> that joke was just for me. Okay. Dan is still. Dan is still in there. I went to the bathroom, had a little break, read a novel. Did my taxes. <laughs> I made a new version of Banjo Kazooie in the time. Dan's still going, huh? He's really thinking it. He's really thinking it out. More time for coffee. I'm still waking up. You know? Yeah, the smiling and these ear earbuds falling out is gonna be something I gotta. I gotta work with. Oh man, I can double tap the side of my earbuds to increase the the volume and decrease the volume. This is the future, man. Are we living in the future? Probably should have set a time limit. Hello. Oh hi. Oh hi. You return. <laughs> Have we had adequate time to plan? Oh, I'm 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 planned and ready. I'm ready to go. Fantastic. I am also feeling ready to go. So, with that, I suppose let's go ahead and uh, get this race started by going and talking to bottles, and uh, then we shall count down. All right, I'm talking to bottles. Same. Welcome to Banjo Bingo. Press B to begin the race. All right, and we do so in three, two, one, go. The race begins. It is on. So Dan has set things up where in talking to bottles, uh, it's just like hitting B in the regular game where you get all of the tutorial moves and uh, can just move right along, which is nice. You just go, we're just in it. Of course, there are still honeycomb pieces here for the taking and an extra life if you want them. Yeah. Which I'm surprised. I'm surprised we still haven't gotten one of those either. I was finding honeycomb pieces. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I was. Uh... <laughs> yeah, there are definitely some honeycomb piece uh, objectives in the pool. And if one of those popped up, I was definitely going to be taking some time to grab them. This is going to be interesting because not only is it the first time Dan and I have done a series where both of us are recording like our own video, um, it is also the first time where we've needed to be coy about what we're doing. <laughs> so, um, conversation in this is going to be very interesting. <clears throat> oh, yeah. No, no, well, are you in Spiral Mountain? Are you, uh, <laughs> you know, just hanging out? No, I'm already in Freeze Easy, man. Like, I'm. Killing snowmans. Oh, okay. Wow, man. You found a nice shortcut, apparently. Right? I'm still in Banjo's house. I haven't figured out how to leave. <laughs> this bottles, he won't stop talking. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we're going to have to be coy about uh, what we're doing and where we're going. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Also, he and I kind of realized in our uh, test recording, um, we're really going to have to fight hard to resist the urge to hum <laughs> along with any music. <laughs> it's maybe the hardest part of playing this is is not humming. It's very, very difficult. All that to say, Dan and I may be slightly less talkative 
Uh, oh, no, I'm gonna be talking your ear off. What do you mean? Okay, well, that's fine, too. <laughs> we would be saying less and less of substance. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. As we play. Yeah. Simply to be careful and not give away whatever we're up to. What are you, what are you doing right now, this moment? Uh, honestly, something not entirely productive. Okay, that's good. The more I think about it, the less of a good idea it seems like. I'm kind of doing the same, <laughs> but, you know, I got I got some big brain stuff going on here. <laughs> you got plans? Oh, yeah. They're coming together. Everything's looking up. Uh, I was I was trying to think of Millhouse, but, like, the banjo equivalent? Hmm. Everything's coming up bottles. It is bottles, isn't it? Bottles is the Millhouse of this world. It's got to be bottles, yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, <laughs> there's no one else. <laughs> the treehouse horror of Banjo Kazooie is Banjo Tui. <laughs> bottles getting killed right, right at the start. <laughs> Ironic, considering this is the one with an actual treehouse. <laughs> huh? Look at that. Imagine. Okay, okay, okay. That's good, that's good, that's good. Do-do-do, just working on nothing in particular. Yeah, yeah, that's... It's you, the way you said that... Mm -hmm. Makes me think you are working on something in particular. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Must have misheard. If, like... Nothing about any of the videos I've ever recorded on this channel previously have given anyone any reason to assume that I'm going to be good at, like, heading directly toward an objective, or focusing on a goal, not getting distracted. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's not in character for me. Not at all. No, no, no. I don't know if anyone would consider that writing to be believable. You know what is in character, though? Anyway, I'm on the board now. Oh! <laughs> Did I beat you to it? <laughs> I, I went the other route. I went the other route, Dan. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I was just a behind you on that one. Makes sense we're both here, though. It's like, why not? Why not, right? It's just right there. Right. There are, like, sure, we don't have to go here for Talon Trot anymore, and that is great. There are, like, some other very good moves here. Yeah. There's still a lot that's really nice here. Fundamentals, you might say. A lot of quick, just easy resources, too. Absolutely, yes. Which, I was surprised in the test run to see how... Like, when you're going a very speedy route and not slowing down picking everything up like is habit, you do run out of eggs and feathers and other kinds of stuff real quick, actually. Oh, yeah. You know what? You know what I do like, um... About, uh... This game where, like... You, you, it, it, you know, one thing that Banjo Tooie does have on this is you, you. It's it's easier to gather more resources because of those those grouped up pickups <laughs> for eggs and feathers. It's a really nice uh, addition to the franchise. <laughs> I'm proud of you. <laughs> Thank you. I, I I really had to muster up something there. <laughs> <laughs> you did it though, and that was sincere. That wasn't even just like a. <laughs> Yeah, it was, it was a legit compliment, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, yes. I think the way I'm going is productive for something. Okay, 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 okay. Things are, things are happening. Things are coming together, Dan. Seems like. Seems like. Do, 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 do. Let's see, what is my... Hmm. I'm at an interesting branching point of choice here where the smarter long-term move mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is not what I'm going to do right now. Because I think I might see a short-term objective that is more to my interests. A yeah, short-term move, eh? Yeah. What could that be? 
What could that be, Dan? Eh, uh, you know. Huh? Just trying to think about how to be about it. We don't need to. We don't need to. We don't need to. It is hard to... It is hard to fight the instinct to play Banjo-Kazooie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It really, it really is surprisingly difficult. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Okay, okay. We gotta we, I, I change, change plans. Oh, pivoting already, huh? Mm-hmm. I was like, this, we don't need to do this, but I should. I should. It, it's it, it's a foolish idea not to. Oh, very nice. I okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> just took notice of an additional point on the board. Yeah, I, I I just talked to the second one actually. Hmm. Do I... no. Hmm... What's the smart way to be about this? Think, think, think. It's interesting strategizing in this sort of race because, like, you've got several different ways you can go about it. Like, mm -hmm. especially in a lockout race, um, there is value in throwing the other person off of your trail a little bit. Oh, absolutely. So that they don't catch what you're trying to do and don't try to then, like, block you or stop you. But it's a lockout race. If they, If you hold off too long and they snipe it out from under you, well, there goes your strat. <laughs> yep, that's uh, that's something you'll have to now deal with. That you 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 lost that potential objective. Exactly. It's a good thing though. I didn't lose this potential objective. Ah. Uh, <sighs> that was what I was. I was a little bit worried that if I didn't really gun it for that, then uh. There was just no way. Yeah, I was that one. I was like, oh, he, someone's, he's gonna snipe that from me. I gotta beeline it for that. <laughs> you know why they call it beeline? Because of banjo, a bear, and a bird. <laughs> I keep smiling and my headphones fall out, Dan. You're, I'm, I got a natural <laughs> handicap here. I'm kind of counting on it. Okay. Okay, um... Really... intensely concentrating right now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I am full... In the zone. <laughs> Which zone specifically? Oh, you know, the one where there's music. Oh, the music <laughs> one. God, I love that one. Uh -huh. What a good what a good game. Yeah. It's it's fun because uh uh I it's I wanna I just wanna tell you, but I can't. I'm legally not allowed to tell you where I am. Yeah, I mean I wanna hear it. Yeah. We're we're both in a position where we're kinda missing out. I'm in the zone where it goes. Right? Oh, well, hard reset already, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's just. <laughs> mm hmm, mm hmm. Just talking to that mm -hmm. NPC. Don't need to worry about that, Dan. Now that I think on it, I really wasn't thinking super carefully about my um, long term approach. Oh, good, good grab there. Like, I had not entirely realized that I was already a little bit blocked on that way. <laughs> In kind of all the directions, if you think about it. 
Eh, all but one, I suppose. Diagonals also count. Yeah, but that, is, that was a good one. Hmm. What am I wanting to do here now? Think, think, think. Okay, it has decided. You got the you you got the pivot locked in. Pivot is locked in. All right. Well, just don't go for what I'm going for, and then I'll, that should be fine. I'll try. Pivot is locked in. I'm just being very indecisive about how I go about it. <laughs> mm-hmm. 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 If you're watching my screen, everybody, trust me, I know exactly what I'm doing. It is all part of the plan. All part of the plan. Have a little faith. Listen, I I support your plan and your endeavors. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Future, past, present, you know, all of them. It's very validating. Validating, if a little bit inconsistent. I feel like last time I had a plan, some of the actions you specifically took were not supportive, per se. Wow. They were, like, obstructive, if anything. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, it's weird that you'd say that. <laughs> there were some choices in regard to beehives. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Which really threw a whole, like, uh bear-shaped wrench in my scheme. Bear-shaped wrench. It's- it's- it's kind of like a monkey wrench, but a bear wrench. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love that Pearl Jam album. <laughs> Alright, uh, where's the- there we go. <laughs> oh, I- 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 I totally blinked on what I was doing and just have not been doing it. <laughs> very smart, very smart strategy. There is so much to concentrate on at once, like there's so many objectives, even if you've narrowed it down to kind of like the list that you are mm -hmm. in the immediate future pursuing, it is easy to kind of blank in the moment in your, in your hurry. <laughs> oh, absolutely. In your haste. Some would say I'm a master of forgetting what I'm doing. Some would. I'm, I'm, we're, we're both pretty good at it. Mm -hmm. One of us, like, in retrospect, one of us should have, should have like, spec'd for short-term concentration and focus. <laughs> yeah. That's a, you know what does help with the focus? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Having four one-ups. Uh, ah. Yeah. Beat me to that, too. Hmm. Indeed. Indeed. I don't know why that just made me think of, uh, you know, those Charmin commercials? Or Charmin commercials? Puff and Neat is a Puff indeed, or something, whatever they say. <laughs> that sounds familiar. It's been a while, though. It's the, the, the Christmas one where it's the, like, this not quite stop motion puppet kid. <laughs> and his nose is runny. That is vaguely familiar, too. I think if I saw it, I would be immediately... It would... A memory would be unlocked. Hey, Dan, just real quick. Guess where I am. Uh... Hmm. If I was to guess where you were right now, mm -hmm. I would actually say... I would say... Clankers. Clankers would be my guess if I had to pick one. Yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely in Clankers. Cool. Definitely didn't mark off an objective. Oh, wow. Look at you leaping ahead. Look at me! Look at me! Just couldn't wait for that winter weather. I planned poorly, and so I am... <laughs> ...not set up for victory. So it, it has kind of nothing to do with my immediate, uh... ...strategy or plans. I had considered the thought, kind of like after our uh, test run yesterday, of like... I wonder if I literally did... ...if my strategy literally was play Banjo-Kazooie, would I win? 
if I just did non-strategically go about just pure vanilla yeah yeah just actually collect all the things would that would that uh, work out for me it's possible it, it is possible honestly with uh that 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 10 jiggies and two levels i was i was thinking of that because i was like that's not it's, it's probably one of the more time consuming squares but i'd consider that as well with treasure trove and uh matt mumbo you could probably power through that pretty quick those, yeah those aren't too bad there's worse there's oh, worse yeah. single objectives <laughs> than getting ten, all 10 jiggies in those two places. Yeah. Yeah, where am I going? I've just completely forgotten how to escape my current location. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Escape your current location, you said. Now, what's the sort of place that would be, would you be hard and difficult to get out of, but only if you're an idiot? <laughs> oh, and then the, the choice is just multiplied. That's true. Boundless possibility in that case. That is not what I wanted. Oh man, I should have grabbed it. I should have grabbed when I was there. I'm an idiot. So that's see, yeah, like that's also what I love about this. Each of us kind of like psyching ourselves out of yeah, in like in our haste and our rush to go for those early objectives and establish our path. There are some of those things we could have gotten if we just spent an extra couple minutes. If that only. now we have to go all the way back. Do we do it? If only I was a fool, then. But a fool who is a couple points ahead. But for how long, Dan? But for how long? It's hard to say. Depends on how fast I am. It's looking, it's looking actually pretty better now. <laughs> it is looking a lot better. Look at you go. Hmm. Yeah, I don't like how many different options you now have. That, uh, concerns me a bit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The good thing is, um, I also, uh, have this now, too, so. Goodness gracious. I don't envy you on that last one, though. I'll be honest. You know? Me neither. Some of those are kind of scary. I, I do, I do have worry. You know where one of those is, right? <laughs> I do, I do have worry that you might just grab that real quick. That would be a bad situation. For me, what I like to call a bad situation. I don't like that you force me in a situation that I have to even consider it as an option. Uh huh. Uh huh. You've put me in an awkward position here. I like it because it it frees up me to actually do other things. You know. Sure. Yeah. Then, and I'm sure you are right now doing other things. Cause, cause that's that's the interesting thing is, do I bank on you going to play defense there, and free myself up to go get more objectives, or do I just go for the Jinjos? It is a like a good question, especially because like I can tell you from some recent experience, Jinjos there are kind of frustrating. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, the the Jinjos there are suck.
some would say just downright awful. <laughs> Pretty, pretty bad. And it, it's really just one or two particular ones that can uh, make life hard. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, so how is it going in Gobi's Valley? How are you doing? Uh, it's pretty good. Like, uh, actually, a surprising thing that I've achieved over there. Whoa. Yeah. Cheeto, eh? Yeah. It's weird. I didn't, I've never found him there before. Hmm. Just got lucky, I guess. Uh, yeah, I imagine. Yeah, weird. How about you in Gobi Valley? Like, oh, it's it's hot. I bet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are the like so I don't expect either of us actually has perfect knowledge around this yet but mm-hmm what are what do each of us think right now is like what are some of the worst objectives that we really don't want to have to resort to ever because like i think it's safe to say that there are some objectives neither of us would prefer have to do unless we're forced um the boggy's races <laughs> boggy's races for sure especially so I, it's just go back to our test run a bit. Dan um, achieved like four goals in a row very quickly and then spent a very long time failing to do Boggy's second race and then gave up and went for a different route. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It sounded rough. Yeah, it was, uh, it was not good. It was pretty fun hearing you in real time because I didn't remember what all things like were involved in even the steps required to unlock access to it. It was pretty fun hearing you have just realization after realization of how many things you would have to do to be, even be able to start attempting what is still a very difficult race, even once you're allowed to begin. Yeah, it's it's kind of the worst thing to do in that level because you have to do every. You have to clear the snowman. You have to. Uh, do go to the top of the snowman to get the sled. You have to get enough mumbo tokens to get the walrus, and then and then you also have to have the shoes. It's real rough. It's just it's just a bad time. Yeah, all around. I would hate to have to do a Jinjo or Note objective in Rusty Bucket. Oh, yeah. Especially because, like, in the N64 version, if you die, all whatever you've grabbed, it lost. So... Gone forever. Start again. Yeah, uh, I saw that I saw that 50 notes in Rusty Bucket, and I was like, that one's probably uh, a little scary. I don't want to. This is where I went, meant to go. What am I doing? If it makes you feel better, I did die and lose progress, so... That does make me feel better, and further makes me think that you might be in Gobi's Valley. Like, I may still be wrong on that one, but, um... Mm -hmm. It always surprises me how easy it is to die and lose progress in this level. Oh, this level, so like you're you're here as well. I'll be honest, yeah. No, I've uh, <laughs> been enjoying some time in the sun. Hmm, that's good. That's not the music. I think you're lying to me. It's unlocked like a new style of bluffing as well. <laughs> It's like we can hum, we just gotta be careful to hum in a way that throws one off our trail. Mm -hmm. 
So what was the hardest part of, like, getting into the, like, the ROM hacking side of things? Like, what, what were the things that were trickiest to wrap your head around? Um, so I think one of the things that took me a while, and I don't know if it was because I was using, like, a, an out-of-date version, or I was just, um, like, not finding where to find stuff uh i i was really struggling finding a way to add jiggies like all the other collectibles i could add in no problem um you're just trying to get me to talk about other things i see what you're doing just make a conversation you know oh yeah uh-huh we did make a smart move here in choosing for the first game to do a bingo race and to choose one that just has such fun music so that even if we are not talking a whole ton, there's still lots to listen to and enjoy. Yeah. The audience is loving it. We got the classic tunes. I certainly hope so. I mean, y'all let me know. <laughs> I, have, I have no idea what this is like to spectate. All I know is that we are having a great time. Okay, okay, okay. Uh... Definitely not in Gobi's Valley. <laughs> Good. And I can't think of any reason why you'd lie about that either. Yeah, I don't. I never lied. I don't know how to. What, what is that? <laughs> lie? Like laying down? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, to lie. I would never go prone. Never. Unless, you know, I was avoiding range attacks. And then maybe I'd consider it. Yeah. I, uh... I've been I've been on a big D and D kick these past few days. Yeah, just kind of nonstop writing, and it's been it's been a hoot. I'm 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 definitely getting like way ahead of myself with the writing, but <laughs> I'm like I'm just enjoying it, and I, I I feel like I I try to when when my when my brain is like oh I'm I'm fixated on this I'm like I gotta take advantage of this because yep yeah if, if I don't. Uh, you know, like, I don't know when that's gonna come back. That does definitely make a lot of sense. But you know what does make sense, Dan? What does make sense? Uh, I'll tell you in just a few seconds here. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Mm-hmm. Just a few seconds. That is the scary thing. That is the real point of, like, potential reset on a, uh, <laughs> on collecting in that area. Yeah. Just a little bad luck there. All it takes. I did almost squander that one, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Speaking of almost doing that, I almost just did it again. I gotta be careful there. I really do. I'm- I feel like I'm... <laughs> holding my breath right now. Can't imagine what you could be doing. It's so stressful. And there they are. You. I got a Dan bingo! Jones with the win! <laughs> you got a bingo even! Wow. Hoo and that's the win! Well done! 
<laughs> I did it. I managed it. I, I, I don't know how I... I was, I was hard focusing mumbo tokens. I am very impressed. I was definitely like at a certain point when I realized that you kind of had a couple of options, whether you were going row three or column five, I was trying to decide which one, like two of these are kind of on my way that I could try to go in and do a block on, but I wasn't sure whether to go for Cheeto or try to go like transform into a pumpkin real quick or something like that. And I went with Cheeto, but yeah. <laughs> That's kind of what I was playing because I was like, he's going to block me on one. I need to go to Mad Monster for the, the the pumpkin anyways. And if he blocks me in column five, I can I can do row three and just focus <laughs> the pumpkin jiggies because there's a few easy pumpkin jiggies. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh, congratulations on your first win. Wow. Woohoo. It feels good. It feels good. <laughs> Very good. I didn't expect, honestly, for us to get... <laughs> I'm surprised we actually got through a whole one of these in a single episode. I know. Astonishing. That was great. <laughs> I guess we might just have to do another one then. M maybe we'll just have to do another. Yeah. We'll just have to do another race then. Just a, just a little follow-up. So, uh, the, by the way, for I'm sure some folks are going to be asking in comments, um, the, the uh, ROM hack that we're playing on here is not publicly available anywhere. Uh, at this time, it is still very much in progress as well. Maybe someday. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we'll uh, we'll I'm sure we'll let you know if it, if it ever comes to a point where I can like figure out how to export a patch uh, so folks can you know uh, patch their their ROMs as well. Um, but it definitely needs still a lot of polish. So yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I can attest it is very fun. I am really surprised at how much faster that one went. Uh, and happy that it means that, all right, well, cool. Well, we're still got some time to record here. Let's just do it again. Let's just do another one. <laughs> all right. Tune in next week for the rematch, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. And thank you, Dan, for creating this. This is a, this is a blast. <laughs> uh, thanks for playing it with me. I've, I've, I'm so, so much fun. I'm so happy to be doing it. <laughs> me too. I'm excited to do more. We'll see you next week, everyone. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Thank you.